first decided that we wanted the thing to be close encounters, I tried to think of about a way to connect it to my own life and what I wanted to say. And I just experienced a friend passing away and um, decided that I wanted to somehow connect it to that experience. And so I wanted to take close encounters uh, to a microscopic level because it connected with my friend's disease. And basically that's how I started. Uh, my journey, so it basically is a journey through all four of my pieces on what that uh, would be like to have that particular disease and what it might mean and how it also connected to the overall thing. So I used inks um, and mixed with salt. There's some salt in there and there's also some, uh, some cheesecloth, so that's really what gives it all the texture. Um, salt is a really interesting medium when you mix it with ink. Uh, because as soon as you drop the salt on the ink, the ink wants to uh, move towards the salt. Uh, so it sort of wants to congregate different colors at different speeds. Um, so that's what gives it that sort of interesting texture as, as you move around these different pieces. And uh, I wanted to do something where it was coming towards you in space, uh, coming towards the person, the viewer that's looking at it and just making all these connections is sort of symbolic of how um, this particular disease is this, on a cellular level is connected, but also how um, people on a larger scale are connected to one another. And so hopefully those that are viewing the whole show will find some kind of common ground and some kind of common connection to one another through the art. What I was trying to achieve with the theme and these pieces was Playing off the um, concept of alien life form or uh, technology forms in pop culture, most uh, alien movies have, of course, alien technology that we all see. Uh, the interior of spaceships or um, organic life forms, and I chose pieces that um, kind of resembled resembled um, some of the visuals that people may be familiar with seeing that genre um, of film. The Pierce Cube in the spring is kind of a fun, happy experience, but the one next to it, Tears of Medusa, is more twisted and um, um, alien looking, almost um, eager looking. I chose pieces based on my implementation of technique, I guess, that to me read as alien or a close encounter with an alien life form. First of all, I want to say it was, a, it was a challenge to create a piece that was so narrow and tall. And close encounters, I, I decided not to take it the way it implied like aliens from outer space. I thought about close encounters as juxtapositions pushing things that would normally never live together together and trying to make it make sense. So I had this sort of intuitive relationship with these little objects. I have I have a bank of images that I can draw upon in R. I got several backup hard drives full of stuff and I, I just get them together and see if they can be happy with each other and irrespective of their size or their color or their, the meanings that people usually associate with them. And then if I can create new meanings, I don't necessarily have any control over how people see the meanings of my things, but putting things all on a stick vertically is like, for me, close encou encountering things in a close way. So it's like a, I guess it's sort of like a modern industrial totem pole, as opposed to typically, I guess, Inuit people who have animal images, which I have some animal images. This was like at, found at the brush at a car wash. So I've got everything kind of eclectic is understated. I was thinking of Close Encounters, there's some uh, past artwork that I had. And uh, of course the Frankenstein uh, piece definitely goes with the time of year and the theme of Close Encounters. Uh, the resemblance to Mel Gibson, it was not intentional on this piece. Uh, the second piece I did on the iPhone was uh, the octopus boat piece. Um, it's called Just Curious, and actually I had the octopus as a separate call. 
and then uh, later on, had the boat, decided to combine the two, and, and came up with the finished piece. And the higher rock was actually done in probably about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. Um, it was a uh, piece that I did late at night that uh, started out sketching the, uh, uh, the background mountains and then it just sort of went through there. Uh, these are both self-portraits. I originally took these on film and I made this box, built this box, placed myself inside of it and photographed myself as as if I was entrapped, trapped in that box. Um, so the idea was these two pieces here were supposed to show me being trapped in and then on the outside I've got like butterflies, cocoons, flowers, birds. So on the outside like uh, was my idea of trying to escape. So I went to explore that idea of escape and then being enclosed. I initially started this painting and I wanted to work with green. So uh, I found that green was very difficult to work with. And soon I learned that some opposite colors, like oranges and neutral colors, gray, helps a great deal. As I worked along, I began to feel my way into the imagery. So much of what I do is intuitive. I started making a landscape. Of course, then I started having images in my head of water. So eventually I made a stream, forest, rocks. And of course, I needed a person in there. So I gradually introduced a person. Because it dealt with the woods, the stream, the earth, and in the 19th century, much uh, landscape dealt with the spiritual nature of the landscape, um, I felt compelled to lend uh, the lighting to that spiritual impact. So, the net result is a painting filled with light, and it's an encounter of a kind of internal light. Well, the piece that I did is called Close Encounters with Mother Nature. My idea was to do a realistic with an abstract look to it. So in doing the painting, I decided to put some more information into the painting, such as natural materials, such I used a birch tree material, uh, some gravel, some sand, and I even put some oatmeal into it. So the concept was just to keep it as realistic but abstract and let your mind get the idea of what Mother Nature is all about. The piece was involved of using land, air, and water, so I hope you enjoyed the piece as I enjoyed putting it together. Thank you.